what's up empire builders in today's video what i'm going to be revealing to you is my five favorite ways to sell digital products on the internet that have helped me earn over seven figures online i'm going to be showing you exactly the easiest way to create these digital products research these digital products and most importantly how to actually start selling them let's get right into this guys and quickly guys let me introduce myself if you're just tuning in here to the e-commerce empire builders for the first time my name is peter pro i'm the founder of here of the e-commerce empire builders storefunnels.net as well as untap focus supplements if you like e-commerce content making money online content like this make sure to do me the biggest favor of your day hit that like button that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos that we release every single monday wednesday and friday but guys let's go over the shoulder and start researching these digital products which ones are my favorite ones to actually start selling um and guys i love to leverage free tools here so head over on to google that's the first thing we're going to be leveraging Google here heavily. Um, all of this stuff, guys, you don't need any kind of crazy paid tools to research. Don't don't get tricked into thinking you need things like this. Okay, you by no means need things like this. What you need first, though, is a niche. So I'm going to assume guys today uh, that you're either selling some sort of physical products, e commerce products, digital products, or you're already somebody that has an idea to maybe sell like information that's in your head, right to teach people something how to you know, do accounting for their e commerce business or whatever it might be. I'm to assume you're already in one of those so the first thing i want you to do and we're going to talk about my first favorite one is ebook so for example with a niche like fly fishing right a lot of people might automatically assume that hey the only way to sell you know digital products is to sell like you know you know the, the courses on how to make money online and you know how to sell cryptocurrency how to trade that's not the case guys this information right goes for any niches and one of my big things here at the e-commerce empire builders i tell everybody is mix in selling physical products digital products right you get the best of both worlds right the physical products are easier to sell right because they're tangible and then you've got the digital products as well like ebooks and things like this right that are high margin after they're created one single time okay so for example here head over to google i'm just going to use fly fishing as an example and i'm just going to type in fly fishing ebooks right very 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 simple now from here what we're specifically looking for guys is are people purchasing this kind of information already this is key right because we want to see are they actually buying ebooks are they buying books are they buying information products online that's a good sign right that's a good sign that they're already buying it so that probably means okay well if you're not offering it in your business that's an extra income stream that you're missing out on right so right here we're literally just typing that in and we're just going to look at a couple of the results okay now, first and foremost, obviously we have Amazon. Amazon's always great to look at the different kinds of books that are already available here. You can see, right, there's 14 books in this fly fishing series, which is absolutely <laughs> insane, right? You can see customers who also bought tons of different fly fishing books that we're seeing here. You might be thinking, Pete, why is this more? Why do I care about these books, right? Well, the best thing that you can do here is actually clicking in, and this guy's actually not allowing us to do a sneak peek. Uh, so let's click into this one and see if it does. Perfect, so it does do a look inside. So if we click into this, what I love to see here, guys, is I like to see how are their table of contents structured, okay? How are their table of contents structured? So right here, you can see part one, the basics, right? Getting started, tools, materials, hooks, threads, and cements. Part two, tying instructions, all of the different, look at all these different kinds of ways to tie fly fishing stuff. Right, so you can see now, right, just in this niche fly fishing, probably in your niche, uh, niche whatever you're selling, right, there's probably people that are like, okay, I got this product now, but like, how do I use this thing, right? So that's exactly what you want to do. Actually help them, you know, do the thing that you sold them, okay? So right here, you sh you're showing them how to tie all the different kinds of uh, ties. And there's another section here, um, you know, part three, pattern index. And this is why I want to see this stuff because each of these little topics that I see in the table of contents can be its own ebook. You by no means need to go write a thousand page book like these people have done, but you can take little chunks, right, and sell them or bundle them for free with your physical products to increase the value of it, right? Now, there's lots of different places that you can actually have these kind of uh, ebooks created. I'm going to give you a hack right now, guys. But if I give you this hack, uh, you gotta promise me. You gotta promise me a couple things, right? Number one, you gotta hit that like button, the subscribe button, notification bell. You already know that, right? But you also have to drop a comment down below on today's video as well. If you don't know what to say in your shy, say my empire starts now. Okay, I'm gonna show you a quick hack. So there is a site, okay? There's a site called gutenberg.org. So right here, you can see it popped up. It'll most likely pop up on your search when you look for eBooks. Now, gutenberg.org, and there's different kinds of uh, d different kinds. Um, of these websites out there basically in a nutshell what this website is is there are books on this ebooks 
that have already passed their copyright. That means, for example, this one right here, this Gutenberg.org uh, ebook, Fishing with a fly, fly Fishing book, I can download this and do whatever I want with it. I can sell it, I can say it's mine, I can do whatever I want with it. This website is freaking amazing, okay? And it's a great place to find a bundle of eBooks if you're running low on time, to bundle them together and sell them. Give them away for free to build your list, whatever you want, okay? Absolutely amazing, this website. It's called Gutenberg.org. Now, return to favor, guys. Do what you promise. Do those things I just asked for. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, drop a comment. All right, so guys, what you, when you're doing on here, right, when you're fishing with a fly right here, you can, it's actually written by that Orvis guy too that has all those books. You can literally just like read the book online if you, if you choose to. Um, that's that's totally optional if you if you actually wanna read. I do recommend reading, seeing what you actually like and you can kind of go through here and you could look, this is like the whole book and you can kind of like take chunks out of it. You can see they have pictures, like we can just take it and do whatever we want with it, right? There's no excuse anymore, right? There's no excuse anymore. Now, this website guys, I'm not gonna go completely in depth in it. It's pretty self-explanatory, but you can type in pretty much any niche. Just go to gutenberg.org and just type in this Quick search like whatever niche you're looking for and most likely there's gonna be some ebooks in here that you could take advantage of all right so moving on to the next so we got the ebooks and books out of the way the next one is workbooks I freaking love 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 workbooks why because it gets people more indoctrinated with your brand think about for example, with my book, right, E-Commerce Empire. So in this book, I have a lot of different kinds of worksheets and workbooks, uh, and it's kind of like a workbook at the very end where I have you like fill in like a whole bunch of stuff. Why do I do this? Because it indoctrinates you with the brand even more so, right? It gives the person some value. Maybe that worksheet or workbook that you get them to fill out, right, gets them to some certain result when they're done it. Do you understand the power of that, right? Even if you gave them a free work and they filled it out, like, and you got them some little result, like teaching them something, XYZ, that little thing that you've done now for them, right? They're gonna remember that and then they're gonna be more indoctrinated in your brand. Remember, right? I talk about this a lot. The goal is to turn that cold traffic into hot traffic of buyers. And the kind of the more you can get them to engage with you, the more you can kind of get them to, to see your brand, the more you can help them for free, the closer they're gonna come here and buy more of your stuff, all right? So that's why worksheets, workbooks, things like this are really, really good. Now, when you're here on Google, and you're looking for workbooks, uh, you can usually find, you know, they're, they're, it's not gonna give you like, the best information here. So what you can actually do is you can actually go under images here and kind of look for different kinds of things, right? And then kind of have to make your, your, your best judgment, right? So for example, what I'm seeing here is under the ads, right? I'm looking under ads, guys. Everything I do is not just like random, okay? I'm always looking at what are people already selling to these people and let me sell it to them, but better. Okay, so for example, right here, I'm looking at the ads when I type in fly fishing workbooks under images, and I'm seeing uh, fly fishing chronicles, chapter books for kids, okay, not that, guide to uh, Pennsylvania fishing. Uh, all right, so for here, here's one, here's like a good workbook. Leather fly fishing log, right? Uh, a fly fishing um, outside box or something like this. Uh, Nomad adventure fly fishing journal, okay. That seems like a nice workbook, something they keep in their pocket. They can journal, right, um, what, their, what their catches are, what the temperature is outside, and journal what kind of fish they caught that day, right? So like these kind of things, like they're, they're, they're these little things that people, especially in these passions and hobby niches that people are always consuming and keep track on their progress. That's a workbook, guys. You're making them actually do that and your brand is on there already, right? And you could literally just give them an e-version e of this. They can print it out for themselves. And you can see this one right here. So let's take a look. Nomad Adventures, Fly Fishing Journal, uh, selling this for 16 bucks. Let's click in what it looks like. All right, cool. So now we, we this is so simple. You literally just have to just like, just think outside the box guys and you're gonna make a ton of money. Okay, so check this out right here. What are they doing? Okay, it's like a flip book, right? So at the top, they're writing observation notes. So you go out on the lake, right? Or stream or wherever you're fishing, right? And you write your observations, right? What is the temperature? What is the water color? What is, you know, and, and the thing is I'm a fisherman, so I know these kind of things. Like to you, what I'm talking about is completely nonsense. But this is what guys do. This is how you catch better fish, right? Or more fish is by understanding these different variables when you're fishing, right? So those are the observations, a little section right here to write observations. Two words and a bunch of lines. Mind you, that's that's so far all that's done, but adding a lot of value, right? So, and then right here is the entry, right? What is the water you fished on? What is the fish you call? What is, let's see if we can zoom in here a little bit more. Okay, we can't really zoom in guys, but you could see here basically they're writing like where are you fishing at? You know, what's today's date? You know, what city are you in? What fish did you catch, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and then when you flip it again, it's already, it's uh, it, on the other side of that is entries. 
Boom. You know what I would do now? If I was going into this niche, I would literally go send this exact thing to a VA, tell them to create a little different. I'll change my own, uh, change it up a little bit so it's not exactly the same. You do never want to plagiarize here, guys. Don't steal somebody's hard work, but use that as inspiration. Maybe there's some things that you would tweak. Maybe there's some stuff in here you're like, wait, this is pointless. I don't care about what city they're in or whatever. Uh, maybe I'll just make that one line. Change it up. There you have it. You have a little workbook that you can now bundle, sell, whatever it is that you want to do with this information product, right? Super, super easy. Just think outside the box, okay? Moving on to my next favorite category, infographics. This is my favorite, one of my favorite. They're all my favorite, guys. These, are, these five things are, are all my favorite. But this one's really good because it's so easy to make and it has so much high perceived value. Okay, so again, go to Google, type in your niche and type in infographics, head over to images. Usually it'll show your images right here with the infographics, right? But I always just, I always like to click images right here. And what we're gonna see here is a ton of different infographics. If you don't know what an infographic is, it's it's exactly what you're seeing here. So for example, it's, let's click into this, right? A fly fishing, uh, a fly for every occasion, right? So for example, fishing the surface, uh, look at this, right? So if you're fishing the surface, right? Use dry flies or top water lures, right? If you're fishing under the surface, right use you know this kind of wet flies right if you're fishing the mid level right you know use these uh you know um what is this streamers right um if you're using you know fishing the bottom of it right use these nymph or whatever uh, uh, lures right just like that you helped somebody right just like that look we all just became educated now a little bit on how to actually use different kinds of fly fishing flies and depending on you know where you want to fish like top middle bottom whatever like just like that, and it's super simple, super easy, right? And this is a, 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 a something that we did in my fishing business when I was still running that, is we would, what I would do is I created these infographics that basically said, hey, depending on like the color of the water, temperature, is it sunny or cloudy out, use these sorts of fishing lures. And it would be a sticker, right, that they could put on their boat, their tackle box, and then they would give them a quick little hack to, 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 to use, you know, to, to you, what lure to use, right? Because at the end of the day, like, that's what I'm trying to get them to do. If my little infographic can help somebody have a better day out fishing, I know they will come back to buy from me. I know they will come back to buy from me because I've provided them value for free. I've given them a better day than they would have otherwise not have. Start thinking about your customers like this. Infographics are a great way to do this. You could do little graphics like this, get a bunch of them for different kinds of inspiration. Pinterest is an absolutely amazing uh, place to, to find this kind of stuff. You can see it's the first one that come up, 900 plus infographics, uh, and check out all of these infographics that, that you could take advantage of. Whoops, I don't know what just happened here. Let's see, let's go back. Sorry guys, give me a moment. So I'm just going to go on Pinterest.com and type in fly fishing. For some reason, that search result was kind of strange. Um, but I just type in fly fishing. And now from here, I'm going to see infographics. I'm going to see posts. I'm going to see what people are already engaging with, right? 20 fly fishing tips, right? All these sorts of things that people already consuming in this niche. So Pinterest is a great place to get some great inspiration from as well. Okay, moving on to number four, my number four favorite sort of digital product is selling courses, right? Courses are amazing because they're one level higher, right? They're one level higher than the ebook, than the infographic, than the XYZ. Why is this important? Because you have to understand when you're selling digital products, the more you learn, the more you don't know. I just gave you the secret of info products right there, guys. The more you learn, the more you don't know. It's like that for everything, right? It's like that for absolutely everything, right? I just kind of uh, uh, came back to my faith, guys, after like 17 years and I started reading the Bible and, and I can't even tell you how many things I've now purchased, right? Like uh, courses and guides and things like that to, to make sense of it all, to kind of reconnect with my faith, right? And the more I learn, I'm like, oh my God, the more I'm like, holy crap, I don't know anything. Same thing goes for different kinds of niches like that, right? Like when you first get started with fishing, you're like, I don't know anything. And then you learn more about it and you're like, I still don't know anything. I'm going out there, I'm still fishing, catching fish. I wish I would have had this problem, but I still don't know anything. That's how the game of digital products. When you sell somebody a book, an ebook, um, an infographic, uh, whatever of the earlier ones I told you, right? And I gave you those in a region because they're all easier, right? Ebooks, workbooks, infographics, right? That's to get them indoctrinated into it. Now, once they get in those results, they're gonna be like, oh, I need more, I need more information. And that's when they move into a, something like a course, something a little bit more expensive, right? To give you this as an example with e-commerce empire builders, right? We have our book, e-commerce empire, right? Very cheap, 995, free, right? You can get it, shameless plug. You can get it for free by going to the first link in the description or ecommerceempirebuilders.com slash book, right? 
But, right, I know when I get you a ton of value and you launch your business right here using this book, you're probably gonna be like, well, how do I scale my book? Okay, then you might look into the e-commerce empire academy or hiring, you know, us to run your ads for you, whatever it might be. You see what I'm saying, right? Like, that's exactly how you need to be thinking as well. Right, so that's what the courses are for. The courses are for those people that want to continue their education and learn more and really become a master of the craft by how you taught it. Right now, it doesn't have to be necessarily you teaching it. I think that's the kind of the best way to go. You can also hire people to, to do these kind of courses or license a course from someone, but these are great. So. The best place to go, obviously, is udemy.com, but I always like to type it on Google because you know, you're gonna see a lot of other things. Like for example, this Orvis, obviously these are like the leader in fly fishing. We keep seeing this name everywhere, right? Check this out. Look at all of these fly fishing schools, decline offer that an exit pop or a pop up. Um, all these different kinds of courses that they're selling here. Look at this, holy moly, like, oh, holy moly. Who says that anymore? $1,600 for a fly fishing course. $1,400 for a fly fishing course. And there's people buying it, right? $279 for a fly fishing course, right? Like, for, you crush this false belief, let's go. Let's crush this false belief right now that if you, I don't care what niche you are in, there are people paying premium top dollar for information. Even if you're not getting hundreds of sales of this a month, even if you get two, three sales of a course every single month that you're charging $1,000, $2,000 for, it will help you out tremendously your bottom line right? Tremendously. It's just the process of getting it together is the pain in the butt. I'm not going to lie. But after you get that done, it's like all margin that you can sell on the back end of your business, right? So right here, you're seeing that, right? You're seeing it's proven. These guys are selling these courses, $3,000 right here for a trout fishing course, right? They're $4,000. It doesn't end. The thing is like, you gotta crush these false beliefs, guys, right? You, you gotta crush these false beliefs. People that are into things and they love things, right? And they wanna become the best at it, they will pay top dollar to learn from the best, right? So do the same thing. Consider your business. You are the best, right? And if you don't convince yourself that you're the best, right? Strive to be the best at your business, right? and put these kind of courses together. Now I'm gonna show you uh, a kind of like a hack to do it, guys, but again, I always recommend do it yourself. It's much more fulfilling. But again, you can come see here, look at all these courses that they have on Fly Vision. I didn't even know this. This is absolutely insane, right? Like, so, but let's go to Udemy. All right, let's go to Udemy, because this is a, this is gonna, <laughs> this is gonna be a little bit more realistic uh, for those of you that, uh, you know, are scared to charge a very expensive price for something. But let's go to Udemy. Udemy is like basically where you can get like a bunch of cheap courses and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna type in Fly Fishing on Udemy.com. Um, and right here, we're going to see all the different kinds of courses people are buying. Guys, look at this market, right? This is the same. I guarantee whatever your niche is, type it into the Google, type it into Udemy. And look, people are buying it on Google. They're buying it on Udemy. They're buying it from all these different websites that are out there. So why aren't you? Like, it's like, why? Why aren't you? Why aren't you doing it? Right? That should be on your list, right? Exactly have that some sort of offer for some sort of digital product, like a course that you're charging top dollar for. Okay? So for example, these people right here, right? Um, look, for example, highest rated how to fly fish a lifelong hobby. They're selling it for 16 bucks. I think they're doing a huge disservice. Honestly, for me, I believe they're doing a huge disservice for what they what they've probably done here. But I digress, uh, but you could see, okay, so they only have two hours of content there. So yeah, 16 bucks is probably fine. You know, me personally, like if you're gonna, it depends on what you wanna do guys. So, cause you could do like short courses like this, where it's two hours long, you know, charge, you know, 30, 40, maybe a hundred bucks really max, right? Depends on the result you get somebody. If you're showing somebody how to save, you know, uh, $50,000 on their taxes by this one loop, some weird loophole that you found out, then yeah, charge in like five grand for that is worth it, right? You know, but um, you know, something like fly fishing a hobby and you only have two hours, like, yeah, to me, you know, probably under a hundred dollars is fine. But if you're putting together a full A to Z course, you're out on the water showing them everything, you're behind the scenes showing them every little, it's like a 30, 40, 50 hour course, then yeah, be charging time dollar for that um, but you could see here what their outline is and that's why I love using udemy.com is because I can see how they've outlined their actual course and I can model this for myself I don't have to go and like go through the whole uh, thing of like mapping out my own course let me scroll down and show you guys this course content five sections 59 lectures two hours and six minutes total and I can see exactly how they mopped out their whole entire course do you not think the number one rated course on udemy.com right is doing something right how they organize their course you should probably model it and you should probably organize your course very, very similar, guys. So again, for number four, we kind of spend a lot of time on this on courses. You can kind of go the low ticket route if you want, if that's where you're more comfortable, right? Or you can go 
and actually create something a little bit more premium. If you don't want to create your own content, um, it's going to be a little bit more tough. Uh, what you can do is go to YouTube, type in your niche, right? Find a YouTuber out there that has a couple hundred subscribers, but it's uploading every single day. Contact them and be like, hey, I want to put together this fly fishing course and I want you to be part of it, right? I love the content that you're putting out there, right? And we'll pay you a premium for every, you know, every course sale we get right i did this for my fishing business back in the day because i wasn't really like the ideal avatar by any means so i got this guy in west virginia to basically put these courses together for me right and i basically gave him like two three hundred dollars a month he was so happy right he was so happy because he was already just shooting content for free and not getting paid at all right so like that's a quick little hack guys okay if you like that hack, hack smash that like button drop a comment do me the big favor helps the algorithm spread to more people guys and share this kind of information but now moving on to number five right number five of my favorite way to sell um, uh, digital products is coaching, 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 coaching. Now, you might be thinking, where does this fit into the whole mix, right? So we got our eBooks, our workbooks, right? We got our low ticket, you know, uh, uh, products right here that are just helping people get educated. Then they get into our courses right here, right? They got the course, they're learning, right? Whatever, what's next? Because th you have to think about this, guys. There's premium buyers, and you always want premium buyers, right? People that, for example, when I say coaching, I mean somebody that meets with you, has access to you, talks to you, right? Somebody that, you know, you know can get handheld by your hand to sh make sure they're successful, right? At whatever it is, to, 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 to learn how to fish, whatever, right? There's gonna be those buyers that are like, I don't wanna sit through a course. I just want this, I just, just get me this thing, right? Like, just get me it, I wanna just talk to you and help me everything, right? That's who you also, you want something like that in your funnels, your business as well. And these can be top dollar things. This can be your time that you do. It can be your team's time that's in here, right? But this should be the top dog, right? This should be at least five times to 10 times more expensive than any course that you have, right? At least five times to 10 times as expensive because this is going to be, this is going to, this coaching is going to be a, a you know, a, a, a kind of a time vamp for you, right? Like you're going to be, more of your time is going to be committed to this, so you should be paid for that, right? But there is going to be those people, right, that want that premium access to you, okay? So for example, if I just type into uh, your Google, fly fishing coaches, right? I'm just trying to see, are there fly fishing coaches out there that I can just like hire and just like Zoom call with me and like teach me how to be the best fly fisherman ever, right? So Again, I have no idea. So let's click into this. Fly Fishing uh, Coach International. Fly Fishing Video Courses. Okay, so let's check this out. So Fly Fishing Video Courses uh, for, you know, uh, fly fishing students, for instructors. All right, so prep for uh, some certification. They have a certification program. Uh, let's kind of look. Do they have fundamentals, casting instruction, certification? Uh, so this is like a certification exam. So it looks like it's an in-person exam or a course that they do. Wow, this is very in-depth. Wow, like th this is crazy. Like this is the one I'd buy. I wouldn't see this is why Udemy sucks because like everything is just kind of thrown in there. Like look how much more premium this looks. I don't care if this costs like five grand. Like I'd rather take this course uh, than anybody else's. Like it looks so much more legit. Um, I'm not seeing on-site classes. So this looks like it's more like in-depth classes. Uh, they're making you fill out your personal information. Um, which is usually what you're going to have to do with courses or with, uh, with coaching and more high level access. You're not just going to sell it. Okay. You understand me? You're not just going to be like, Hey, go to my website and spend, you know, five to $10,000 to come on site. No, you usually want to, usually you're selling that kind of coaching and premium services like that through a phone call, because ideally you want to make sure it like makes sense. Like you don't want just some random person, you know, going on the internet and signing up, paying five grand. And they come on site and they're like, you know, not a fit at all. They're like completely, they're like here for something else. You know what I'm saying? So like, that is why you'll usually have a phone call with a salesperson um, that, or yourself that you can just vet the person and make sure they're normal, make sure there's somebody you actually wanna work with. I can't stress to you enough how annoying it is to, to work with people that you know just, just don't fit your vibe. Like, trust me, the money is not worth it at all. Right, and you're probably gonna have to learn that lesson the hard way. As much as you know, I, I tell you, you're probably not gonna listen to me. Uh, so you know, go do what you gotta do. But I promise you, you know, once you start turning down money, you're gonna get way more money in return. So, for example, this one they have a whole bunch of uh, this Fly Fishing Coach International. I mean, that's a fantastic website. Uh, let's kind of go look at somebody else. Here's some Facebook. I'm not gonna click that. Uh, this Fly Fishing, the Fly Fishing <laughs> What the? Look at this. This guy's a boss. So look at this. He just has the most basic website I've ever seen. Fly fishing instruction, Gary Kell, and then just his phone number. Like, like call me. Like, like no information. Um, that's funny. 
That is very funny to me. Uh, let's see about him. All right, so okay, now he has like an about page. Wow, that is quite the simple page. And he ranks number one on Google. So this guy's probably like a fly fishing legend here. I've taught all aspects of fly fishing, hundreds of men and women of all ages. Uh, over 50 years fly fishing experience. I guess he's won a bunch of awards and, and certified in a whole bunch of things. Fantastic, right? This would be somebody that, you know, here's my little quick hack guys before you do any kind of coaching. Hack them, right? Call this guy. Pretend you're gonna be a customer. How is he selling you? Record it, re-listen to it, right? See how he's selling you and what he's selling. What are the deliverables you get when you join his high level coaching package, right? You're gonna learn so much more by just trying to like, oh, funnel hacking, I'm gonna buy your backend stuff. Like, no, you're not gonna know somebody's backend until you buy their stuff or get on the phone with them and really learn. That's how you properly learn what how people are making the most money in this business, guys. So to recap it, my five favorite digital products, okay? The low ticket ones, right? These are entry points. These are ones you give away as freebies. These are ones you maybe put in upsells, order bumps, or build your list with them ebooks, infographics, worksheets, right? Those kind of products to get that result quick for a customer. Next is gonna be lower ticket, right? $100 courses to, you know, $100 plus courses, right? And finally, is the more high level coaching where you can really, really kind of expedite the success of somebody, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, right? Do me some big favors right now. Please do me some big favors. Hit that like button, subscribe button, the notification bell, especially because if you want to see our new content here every single Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and if you enjoyed today's video and you want to see more stuff about digital products, head down below to the uh, comment section and drop in My Empire Starts Now. We'll also leave a bunch of resources, guys, down below in the description of today's video. So make sure to check those out as well. They're going to help you build your very own e-commerce empire. Guys, as always, have a fantastic rest of your day. And remember, your empire starts now.